Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness in the last episode! We delved deep into the Shadow Pokemon Lab, got ourselves a bunch of really helpful items, and we fought quite a few trainers and even snagged some more Shadow Pokemon. Anyway, in this episode, we are going to be going even deeper. Well, not really deeper, because we're going up! Yes, we're actually returning back to the first floor. Kind of coming full circle, just because I don't want to leave any stone unturned. There are some really good items here, and there is one that I have yet to get, and sure enough, I've run into a trainer. Where do you think you're going? Stop scurrying around! Cobble! Uh, I can't think of a good joke for this one, unfortunately. You just have one of those awkward names where it sounds like I should be able to make fun of you, but I can't. Hate people like you. Wow, that's uh, that was really mean! <laughs> Okay, I don't really mean that. I am not a bully. I really am not. If anything, I had issues with bullying when I was younger, and I know how it feels. Okay, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about the fact that we have a Shadow Pokemon, Carvana. Water Dark type is an interesting type, to say the least. Those of you who like using Greninja, I'm sure you will agree with me. Um, Carvana, while not one of the best water types, has a decent type coverage between water and dark for special attacking. But the real draw of Carvana comes not just from its ability of rough skin, but from the fact that it comes with the item Black Glasses, if you are considering raising a Dark-type Pokémon of any kind, you want to catch Carvana even if you're not going for 100%. Definitely go about it! I didn't think that would finish it off because I thought... Special Defense. Well, um, yeah. I missed my first Shadow Pokémon. Now, for those of you that have missed Shadow Pokémon, uh, like I just did, I have good news for you. In XD, this game is a hell of a lot more forgiving about missing Shadow Pokemon than it was in Coliseum. So if you have missed a Shadow Pokemon, don't worry, it is not the end of the world, you don't have to reset, none of that. It really, really isn't that bad. So for those of you that are worrying about that, don't, because you will get the ability to re-snack Shadow Pokemon that you've missed later on, and it really isn't that bad. Luckily for me, the Black Glasses isn't really that important of an item to me, so I can just kind of continue blazing through this and not have to worry about a thing or worry about a big upset in what I was planning to do or anything like that. So that's good! Gotta be positive! Remoraid! Uh, don't know why I got so excited about seeing it. I don't know, maybe I just kinda... I don't know, the Remoraid family is a family of Pokémon that I really like how they look, but I never see them talked about. And I think it's kinda interesting how, uh, Generation 4 you have a fusion evolution where you have Remoraid and Mantai become Mantai. I don't know, I, I just think that that's really interesting and really unique, and I like the Pokémon Octillery's design. I can't explain it, I just do. And damn! Um... Sfeel is getting really high up there in the levels. Uh, between episodes off screen, once again, I did go and heal my Pokemon, so I think I will uh, heal. I think I will switch to Baltoy because even though it can be purified, uh, that's the kind of the thing. Okay, for those of you that are wondering why Baltoy was not purified, it's just that I felt kind of bad sticking Sfeel's purification in an end slate two videos ago because it's kind of important. So I'm gonna Carvana fled somewhere. You mean it disowned its trainer? That's kind of funny. Um, yeah. Anyway, I felt kind of bad about reducing Sfeel's purification to an end slate, so I'm kind of going to hold off on doing it so we have free time to go do it. And Gene's got an item. What's it got? Antidote. Okay. I'm not complaining. More free items for me. Not bad. At least it wasn't Awakening, or else I'd be pissed about that. Uh, where is the... That's not what I wanted. Okay. Did not mean to get interrupted there. Sorry about that. Okay. Over here is a full heal. Again, once again, very, again, once again, very useful. Wow. I, I didn't even have to make fun of myself, man. I just do it subconsciously. I didn't even have to make a decent effort to do it. What do we got here? More scientists that seem to be major characters or minor characters. Woo. I never thought Cyber's big man would d deign to show up here in person. I saw, I saw him in real flesh and blood and he's menacing. The sight of him gave me shivers. Master Greville supposedly making a personal tour of all Cypher facilities. I think he wants to confirm that everything is fine so we can proceed with his plans without ending without ending up with a, with a fiasco like last time. What? Who are you? You suspicious intruder! How long were you there? You must be just a kid, but we can't let you walk out. What is it with these people always pointing out that we're kidding? Clots! I'm sorry, it just makes me think Roger Clots from Doug is just like, Hey, funny, how long have you been there? Oh, that was horrible. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, I don't know, just, I think Klotz is a really funny name. This guy's a scientist and he was a decently major character, so we can give him a little bit of screen time, I suppose. I don't mind kicking his butt, I just kind of got interrupted while I was talking about something. You know, I was kind of in the middle of a thought last time, so I got a little bit pissed off about that. Let's go for a Psybeam, and, uh... uh let's take out this Kecleon. Kecleon's actually a really interesting Pokemon, so I'm kind of glad that we're showing this battle so I can talk about it. 
Uh, it will change its type due to its ability of color change. Every time it gets hit by a move, it will change to whatever type it just got hit with. So, when you're fighting Kecleon, you can be creative. You can do things like, uh, what I'm gonna do, where you target it with a ground type. Surely after our... No, I'm not going to, because I just got hyper mode. Wonderful. Really wanted to purify my, uh, battle toy, though. It's just that I don't want to break the momentum of what we got going here and leaving, and I don't want to reduce its purification to an end slate. Just because I, I don't mind doing that for Pokemon we're not using on our team, though, but it just, like... It feels special that we purify Pokemon that we're using on our team. So I don't know if anyone else is bothered by me reducing Sveal's purification to an end slate, though. But yeah, I just, I don't want to do that this time because it kind of bothered me, honestly. All right, let's see. Um, huh. Call. Let's go for this. Sorry about this battle taking a little while. This could take a little while, actually, now that I think about it, just because Valtoy is A, not purified, and B, going to hyper mode, and wow, just as I say I'm about to cut this fight, we get significant progress by that critical hit, so, nah, I don't think I'll cut out the rest of this fight. Oh, good thing I actually didn't! This was an important fight after all! I completely forgot! He has a Shroomish! Shroomish! Cool thing about its moveset is that it comes with False Swipe, which always leaves your opponent with at least one HP. Would have been really helpful for me when trying to catch that Carvana earlier. Uh, don't remind me. So Shroomish can make catching Pokemon a lot easier, which is one positive to it. But aside from that, really, really interesting Pokemon. Its ability effect spore will make it so that Pokemon physically attacking it can get inflicted with various status conditions. Uh, Shroomish evolves into Breloom, which is a grass fighting type. Now, while Breloom is not quite as good in this game as it becomes down the line in the series, it's still not a bad Pokemon by any means. And if you're looking for a, I guess, another mixed attacker, because it does grass type moves and fighting type moves well, not to mention it has the ability to inflict statuses like a lot of grass types do. Uh, you might find what you were looking for in a grass type here in Shroomish. Uh, I've used one before, not in a Let's Play though, but on my personal time, and I gotta say, I kinda like it, I like it a lot. Early game, there's a lot of Pokemon that attack physically, and it makes it so that you inflict a lot of status and ailments on Pokemon without even really having to try. Okay, let's see. Uh, evasiveness harshly fell. Gee, that's, that's really, really bad, I know, because it probably was using moves that were like 95% accurate anyway. Uh, can I stop getting hurt by Bind? Can you free me from it already? By the way, does Kecleon, like, bind you with its tongue or with its tail? That's that's kind of creepy to think about, actually, now that I put a mental image to it. Let's see. Thundershock. Finish you off. Boom! Or, I forgot about color change. After I just explained it, I forget about it. How great is that? All right, Baltoy, do it. There we go. Uh, now, interesting to note, if I'm not mistaken... Shadow type is defined whenever it is converted like that to question mark, question mark, question mark type. So if I'm not mistaken, Kecleon can become question mark, question mark, question mark type when it gets inflicted by a shadow, when it gets, when damage is inflicted by a shadow type move. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I know that there are, other, uh, there are other situations that can happen legitimately that will result in question mark, question mark, question mark type. So for those of you that find that type interesting, which I kind of do, that is just kind of something about shadow type is that it's defined as that type whenever you do that. Normally, Curse is a question mark, question mark, question mark type move, and I think that was the only instance of it when it was first introduced. The type has since been retired, though, like, there's no such thing as it anymore. I think Curse has just kind of been reduced to being a normal type move at this point, but, yeah, it's kind of an interesting thing. We getting that took a little while. Let's do it. Come on. Shroomish, be mine. Even though I'm not using it on my team, I still want you to be mine, because it was just Valentine's Day. Yeah, I'm asking a mushroom to be my Valentine. A grumpy mushroom at that. Oh my god, he freaking is, like, grumpy cat mushroom, like, before... That, that was very awkward, I'm sorry, let's just drop that and pretend like I never even said that. Then again, you guys are probably gonna never let me have, let that go, like, plenty of other things I say. Okay. There you go. Did you maybe come to rescue Crane? Don't bother trying. You don't know how scary Lavrina. She's in... You don't know how scary Lavrina. she's in charge here, can be. She looks cute and all, but there's nothing short... She's nothing short of terrifying. Get out while you still can, it's for your own good. He thrones off! Oh my god, and this guy's not gonna stop us from picking up this shiny right here. We found an ID card. Okay, so that battle was indeed required. Or ID required. Ay, 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 I'm only a researcher here. I don't battle. Uh, what appears to be a code of some sort is written down. Okay. Nothing else here except for this. Check it out! Another Great Ball! So this room is also really important for you to go check out, not just because there's a Shadow Pokemon that is decently good, but you have a Great Ball here as well. Uh, if we walk up here, we'll end back where we started, and... I CAN'T WALK BACK! Okay, so... 
the, this door over here you couldn't walk back through last time, and this time it's this door that you can't walk back through. So that is good to note at the very least. Okay, I'll be right back because I want to heal up because we're right here where we can heal. All right, back at the junction. I still hate. Anyway, uh, I'm heading off to the right this time, even though we've already gone this way, because the left is the only way we haven't gone, and off to the right there is one area that I didn't show. I actually was going to show it after the battle with those scientists, but I forgot that if I walked through that door, then I would not be able to show it anymore. So what we need to do is head up the staircase, and once we're up here, we need to go to the lift, which should be coming up any second now. There we go. And after going down this lift, there is one other lift beside it. That is the one area I didn't go to aside from where we, aside from that one path at the junction. In here is, I got trolled. There is a machine for healing your Pokemon and, hold it. You want to pop up on that chest you have to beat me first. I got doubly trolled. Digor. Okay, after I was so rudely interrupted, and he's just like, Oh, take what you want, just leave me alone, and he cowers behind his arms like a little girl hiding his face. Okay. That item box is an ether. Okay. So you get an ether for free for restoring your moves PP, and you get a machine for restoring your Pokemon here. I got trolled majorly. Okay. So now, I will meet you guys back over by the junction, and we will head off to the left, as it's the one area we haven't gone to now that I showed this area. Can't believe there was a machine for healing your Pokemon here after I cut away to go heal. Ugh. And we're back. I want to head down this way. This is the only place we haven't checked out yet. And, uh, let's see. XT001's failure is going to send our plans off the rails. I wish we'd finish up with this research and we get out from the dank underground Warren. Wah! Who are you? Where'd you get in from? Uh, I entered through the door. That's pretty much as simple as it is. Uh, also, I remember this guy. This guy is going to get utterly wrecked at the hands of my almighty Voltaire, because this guy's team, if I recall, is entirely weak to electric. He does not stand a chance. Okay, so let's hope the Baltoy cooperates. We will use Side Beam on that Clamp Pearl, as it has crap special defense, and we will use Thunder Shock on Corefish. Let's do this. Okay, if it seriously survives all this, I will, if he seriously survives any of this, I will be amazed. Like, I will eat my shoe if he actually wins this battle, because I remember this guy just being particularly easy out of all the trainers to fight here. Not only that, but he's got Zubat right there, which is weak to my Psybeam, so I can't say enough bad about it. I can't say enough bad about just how laughably easy this fight should be. And, wow, uh, Clam Pearl actually lived. Wow. And it's using Water Gun, which is super effective on Baltoy. Um, sorry I made fun of you. Can you go easy on me now, please? I, I, I'd like that very much. Let's see, uh, Psybeam, Thundershock. Okay, we'll do that. Something tells me I probably should have attacked Clampearl, but oh well, I'll just do it like this. As long as Baltoy doesn't attack itself or disobey or something stupid like that from being in reverse mode, I'm good. Speaking of that, I have not seen that happen even once yet, to be honest. Like, there's a lot of things that can go wrong for being in reverse mode. It's basically the same thing as Pokemon not obeying, but. I haven't seen it here, it's just that I don't like, I don't like, um, how can I put this? I don't like using a turn to call anymore, like, it's really, really weird in Coliseum, I don't mind it so much, but in this game it just feels more fast paced for some reason, I just don't like breaking it. It's bad news, I gotta alert Lavrina about the security breach! And he runs off like a little girl in the same direction to the guy who ran off trying to avoid Lavrina, so I am going to assume that he just did that, alright. So by getting the ID card we can go down this elevator that you can't go down otherwise. Here we go. We are in a very ominous looking room. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any items here or anything like that. No, doesn't look like there are. All right, up these stairs we go and... You understand, don't you? It's wrong to turn ordinary Pokemon into Shadow Pokemon against their will. Please, would you help us stop the Shadow Pokemon plan? Join us and help us save Pokemon. Professor Crane, I understand what you're trying to say, but I can't help you. Whoa! You! Aren't you that kid I saw at the Pokemon HQ lab that time? Michael? Is that really you, Michael? Are you trying to tell me that you came here by your lonesome to rescue Professor Crane? It's too bad I'm still a member of Cypher. I can't very well let you folks go now, can I? As for you, you snagged my Teddy Ursa for me that time. I'll give you this. You've got guts to come here alone. But I'll fix you good so you never get out again. And once again, we come here alone... 
Even though they call the cops about Crane's disappearance and all that, nope, they don't send the police here and we get leads, none of that. No, we just go here by ourselves because it makes sense to send a 10 year old boy. Yep. All right, so I suppose we consider this our first proper boss fight. Naps, in his rematch, does not have a Shadow Teddy Ursa anymore. Instead, he is starting off with a Murkrow, level 18, dark flying type, with Insomnia for its ability, Peck Pursuit, and Astonish. And Rhyhorn, level 18, ground rock type, lightning rod for its ability, which kind of sucks for my Jolteon. Horn attack, tail whip, stomp, fury attack. All in all, not really that great of a team. It just kind of sucks that I am prevented from attacking that Murkrow for one turn just until I take out that Rhydon. Or Rhydon. Rhyhorn, just because I need to take it out first if I want my electric attacks to work in a double battle. So we'll use Bite as it's a special attack, technically, and we will use Psybeam, and that should be the end of that. Uh, I really hope that Murkrow doesn't attack. Okay, good. Thought I was going to switch out on Jolteon because he read that I could not attack Murkrow, but he was wrong. Here we go. Psybeam. If it survived that, I swear. <laughs> okay. Volterra's really getting up there in the levels. Holy crap. I forgot, like, how... Just saying, I forgot how easy this is, though, because, man, we are overleveled as crap right now. Anyway. Slack off. Level 18. Normal type. Truant for the ability. Only attacks every other turn. Scratch, Yawn, Encore, and Slack off. This is probably the toughest Pokemon we have fought on this guy's team, at least. Well, actually, I probably would say this is the toughest thing on this guy's team, though, because if you are able to not do very much damage to it per turn, you do have to deal with it doing slack off, and it also does have Encore, which can be kind of annoying if you decide to use, like, a buffing move because it forces you to use the same move for five turns. Uh, last Pokemon, Beldum. Level 18, Steel Psychic type. Clear body for the ability, so it cannot have its stats lowered. Takedown is its only move, as, all, as is the case with all Beldums. It's, uh, Beldum, while a good Pokemon, I gotta say, well, it's still a Beldum, it's not really that tough. So that's why I would kind of say that Slack Off is probably more annoying than that Beldum is, even though it only attacks every turn. You know, it's kind of sad when that's the case. Like I said, things have actually been a lot easier than I remember them. Let's finish that off. Let's see if we can take out Beldum in one turn. I'm hoping that we can. Let's do it. Come on. Nope. Come on, Voltaire. I know you're better than that. You know, you've been one-hitting stuff left and right. You have been just utterly wrecking the crap of this place. Come on. Like I said, pretty resilient little thing, isn't it? Take down. Whoa, that... Damn, he took us down with his claw side? That looked like it hurt. All right. It's like how this loving around. I love saying that. I'm sorry. I just... I love using that voice for it. I don't know why. All right, let's see. Uh, Psybeam, I'll, I'll chance it, because it's in reverse mode. That has honestly never been bad for me ever in this entire playthrough. And Thundershock. There we go. Beldum goes down. And right afterward, yes. Didn't have it fail. Slack off goes down. That's it for you, Naps. What do you have to say to me? I think I've made all the puns with your name that I could possibly make, so I don't have anything else to say. What do you have to say now? You're good, pup. Uh, he snaps his fingers and then turns around and shows us the spandex on his butt. Yeah, he, like, randomly has spandex on his butt. It's weird. Professor Crane, you folks don't have the foggiest notion about how big and scary Cypher is. It's not smart to resist. You can go on and on about poor abused Pokemon and all, but you should think about your own selves. That's my advice. And at long last, we are reunited with Crane. Michael, did you really come here by yourself? That's amazing. But it's dangerous here. We better get out of it right away. My worst fear is it was turned out to be true about Cypher. They weren't wiped out. This is just one of their bases. But the details can wait. Things can get complicated if they return. Let's get out of here quick. And we got Professor Crane as a partner. Oh, so much better than Jovi. Awesome. This item box has a leaf stone. This is a really important item. Should you have picked up that C-Dot, you likely have gotten it to level 18 already, and it has evolved into Nuzleaf. You can already get Shift Tree if you want a ridiculous ridiculously powerful Pokemon for this early in the game. Seriously, C-Dot, if you chose to put it on your team, utterly breaks the beginning of this game if you choose to evolve it into Shift Tree that quickly. Like, it's nuts just how powerful it is. But anyway, we got Professor Crane with us. We've rescued him from Cypher. Next time on Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, we'll be busting out of this place and hopefully returning him to the Pokemon HQ Lab. See you guys then.